name is Kathleen and like many other Christians I've had seasons of hardship in my life where I've struggled and even times where I've questioned where God was in certain aspects of my life. Um, an area in particular in my life that I've struggled deeply to trust God in was when I'd experienced abuse. There are many forms of abuse and I don't wish to go into the content of that uh, but more the effect that had on me as a Christian. Having gone through this in my life, I ended up with depression and anxiety, all of which have further difficulties and pains in themselves. I could only describe myself as a very hurt and broken individual on the inside. Outwardly, I probably looked to most as if maybe I had it together, maybe, <laughs> but on the inside was extreme pain and anguish. So going through this, was deeply challenging my faith in God, it really was. Uh, I was questioning God, I was doubting God, doubt after doubt, cry after cry and pain after pain just seemed to stack up and I felt like my life was falling apart to be quite honest. I would cry out to God at times and, and felt that all I was met with was silence, a silence that was utterly deafening, which actually in a sense made me feel even more despairing in my heart because I began to think that this silence was God's absence in my life. As a result I just became even more crippled with fear. I felt isolated from God, my friends, family and Christians and I guess I probably felt that way even more so because I could no longer trust. My trust had been broken so much. When I was going through this um, and trying to make sense of what God was doing in my life, I spent a fair amount of time anchored in the book of Psalms. The Psalms to me are like prayers, prayers that actually express the pains and agony I felt. For example, Psalm 13, David is expressing to God his pain. He cries out to God, how long will you forget me? forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will the enemy have the upper hand? So for me, this psalm begins with a real sense of deep pain and agony in David's situation. I felt that. I could feel the expression of these words spoken to my situation so much. And as you move through the psalm, David's heart has been changed towards praising God because God has answered his prayer. He's delivered him from the pain and struggles that he had. So I guess when I was reading through that psalm, what I was learning was that I needed to do exactly what David did. Tell God specifically my pain and pray in that way. Instead of being so angry with him, I needed him to change the position of my heart towards him. I would say... I ran away from God with this aspect of my life because I was so angry with him. I was blaming God for allowing these circumstances in my life. And ultimately, I had no sense of peace because of that anger. But this is where God had really transformed my heart in watching, reading, sorry, through the Psalms and learning how to pray in that way. So... Yes, we can have things come into our experience that are utterly painful, confusing and can cause us to doubt and fear. But on reflection, there are many of the things I've experienced that I'm so grateful to God for. One, because he gave me the strength to keep wrestling in prayer with him. And two, he gave me a loving church family to walk with me through this. And thirdly, and most importantly, he showed me that he loves me, he will never leave me and he is utterly faithful to his promises. So if you're interested in finding out more about our amazing Saviour, tune in to our uh, live stream services on a Sunday morning at 11am and 5.30pm in the evening. Thank you.